In today's video, I am going to give you three basketball shooting drills that you can do to be able to shoot the ball off the dribble, but also improve your handles as well. I personally, as a coach and as a trainer, enjoy and love getting players to shoot the ball off the dribble, off of a dribble drill, because we all know that shooting is a massive part of basketball and every player needs to be able to shoot. So let's get down and let's check out these three basketball drills so in this first drill that you've been watching what we are doing is a quick dribble drill what we are doing is a single hand crossover crossover through the legs and then doing a quick sidestep off of that last behind the back dribble now what this is really trying to do is we are trying to improve our ball handling our ball control However, we are also now being able to learn how to shoot off the dribble, how to do a sidestep off the dribble. These are very important skills to have in basketball because there's really only three types of shots. There's the catch and shoot, there is the stationary shoot and catch and shoot, and then there is the off the dribble shot. So being able to learn how to shoot off the dribble is extremely important. Next, we're doing glide crosses through the legs, and then we're doing a quick small hang at the end and then going into a quick sidestep. The idea here is, again, now we are learning how the footwork for, for moves like this in game. However, we are also learning how to control that ball, how to move that ball without taking a dribble in between the crossovers. And also being able to shoot off of that sidestep that's coming off of that crossover. These are all things that we would be doing in game to try and help ourselves score and be able to shoot over defenders. If you wanted to add an extra layer of difficulty, you could even have it so that you could throw in a defender at the end who is closing out on the player who is shooting. Next, we are going into glide crosses and depending on which version of this that you would like, because we did this two different ways. We did this with a dribble on the side and then without a dribble on the side where we would go continuously behind the back. And again, the same idea is now we are learning how to go into our shot, but instead of going into our shot with by going through the legs, we are going into our shot from behind our back. Again, in today's video, the whole main purpose behind it is for us to be able to shoot the ball better off the dribble. Like I was mentioning, there's three, way, three ways of really shooting a ball in game. There is off the move where you basically are coming off of a cut and shooting. You're going to be either that or stationary sitting in one spot and just pulling up for a shot or you are going to be shooting off the dribble. And this is one of the ways that you can teach yourself how to shoot off the dribble better. I hope that this video has helped you. Make sure to go check out my shooting workout that is down in the description below to be able to help you shoot from further away. And I'll see you guys again in my next video.